factors affecting the enzyme activity. So there are many factors which are uh, responsible for the activity related to the enzyme molecules. Let us take the first one as a effect of a temperature. As we said that uh, all enzymes except uh, some of them which are uh, made up of RNA molecules, those are proteins and here as these are proteins at a low temperature they remain inactive but as the temperature increases the activity also increases and uh, the peak level of the activity reaches at an uh, optimum range of temperature and beyond that optimum range that is at uh, high temperatures the activity decreases because of uh, denaturation of the protein nature of the enzymes that is destruction of the enzymes will take place at high temperatures. So like if you draw a graph showing that uh, rate of reaction to that of uh, activity of the enzyme. So here initially the activity will increases and uh, at one point it will reach the peak level and beyond that here the it will decreases. So this is the temperature. So at uh, 0 degrees temperature it will be gradually less and uh, beyond that one as the temperature is going on increasing the rate of reaction will also increase. At one particular temperature level it is reaching the maximum. And uh, this is called as a optimum temperature and beyond the optimum temperature if the temperature is increasing what is happening to the to the rate of reaction it will be coming down. So likewise uh, this can be shown in a uh, graph related to the activity of uh, the enzymes at a particular temperature. The optimum temperature for most of the enzymes is 25 to 45 degrees centigrade and here there is a uh, temperature quotient. Here for every 10 degrees temperature what happens there will be a uh, change in the rate of reaction. So this is uh, so temperature quotient. So here for every rise of uh, 10 degrees of uh, centigrade of temperature the rate of reaction will or activity will doubles. This uh, rise in the rate of reaction of activity of the enzymes for every 10 degrees of temperature is called as a temperature quotient. Then uh, pH. So here majority of the enzymes are active at uh, neutral pH that is uh, 7 but depending upon their nature so some are active at uh, acidic pH and some are uh, active at alkaline pH also but majority of them are uh, active at the neutral pH that is 7. So let us take some of the examples which are active at uh, acidic, neutral and alkaline pH like uh, pepsin which is active at uh, 2 pH 2 and uh, lipase which is active at uh, 4 to 5 pH and uh, amylase which is active at uh, neutral pH that is 7. Then uh, Catalase is also active at a neutral pH that is 7 and trypsin is the one which is acting at which is active at a little alkaline pH that is 8 and uh, lipase is, uh, is one other example which is also active at a 
8 pH. Likewise, uh, some of them are activate acidic pH, some of majority of them are activate uh, neutral pH and some of them are activate the alkaline pH also. So, next factor is the uh, concentration of the substrate. So, there is a uh, direct relationship between the concentration of the substrate with that of the catalytic ab ability or uh, rate of reaction because here as the substrates go on increases, the catalytic ability will increases. But here if uh, more number of substrates are available beyond the limit of the enzyme that is uh, if all that uh, catalytic site have been occupied by the substrate molecules in the enzyme. Now further there is no space for the enzyme to provide active sites for the remaining substrate molecules. So, at that time the variation can be seen that is what the concentration of the substrate is also responsible for the uh, one of the factor which is responsible for the catalytic ability of the enzymes. So, here if uh, more catalytic sites are uh, provided then the substrate or uh, participating in the reaction and uh, the products will be formed. So, here that can be shown in the form of a graph where uh, the velocity of the reaction and uh, the substrate concentration. As the substrate concentration is increasing then also the rate of reaction will remain constant. So, initially what is happening? when the substrate concentration is increasing the velocity the rate of reaction will also increasing but beyond that limit that is uh, when the when all the catalytic sites have been occupied by the substrate molecules now there is no further catalytic sites on the enzyme to provide for the excess substrates which are present so the substrates are increasing then also what is happening to the rate of reaction will become constant so this is called as a maximum velocity or maximum reach whereas here we, this is called as Vmax. So, here this is a velocity V and uh, this Vmax is called as Michaeli constant. This is called as a Michaelis Menten constant. So, here substrate concentration required to cause half the maximum reaction rate is termed as Km that is Michaelis Menten constant. So, here this is a graph showing the Km, the Km that is Michaelis Menten constant. So, likewise the concentration of the substrate is also been one of the factor useful for the specific activity or uh, the rate of reaction by the enzymes.